my question is how could how do you help leaders embrace failure particularly in today's climate that um you're nitpicked for everything because any decision you make any any failure you make can generally as a superintendent if you're a superintendent can lead to being highlighted at a much mm -hmm. higher level from the social media to the number of blogs and other things that are out there yeah well and i think you know <laughs> For so often we think about, you know, failure is just something that we have to endure, but we have to get to this place where we recognize that that how we handle failure is the thing that can truly make us great. Are we the kind of leader that is going to be self-aware and reflective and take ownership and grow from and share a, a level of vulnerability with those that we work around that's going to do nothing but just gain trust from those that we work with? Or are we gonna shut down, have the walls up, project blame, cast it on others? Um, and in the end, that's gonna do nothing for us. So how we handle this failure piece is so important. Um, and so that's always my encouragement to leaders is to be self-aware, ask feedback, right? There's a difference between just having feedback come to you and then seeking it out. Yep. How are you seeking out feedback about the work that you're doing so that you can continue to reflect and grow and be better at this work that you do? I love that.